Hey guys, it's Nikki. I got a quick haul video I want to share with you all. I ran by a few stores on the golf court this afternoon. And the first place I went was TJ Maxx. And I've seen a couple of haul videos where people have found scrapbook and stuff at their TJ Maxx. But I've never saw it at mine. And so I walked the whole store. And finally when I was fixing to go check out, I saw it. It was right there in front of the checkout counter. So... And they didn't have a lot of stuff, but I got this Martha Stewart Edge Punch, and this is the embossed diamond, and I thought it was pretty. So I got that. And then they have this paper stack by King Company. It's called Daydreams, and this is an older paper stack. I got one about maybe a year ago, um, and I've about used it all up. And so I wanted another one, and I've been looking for it. But I couldn't find it, and they had one of these, and so I grabbed it up. It was just four ninety nine. So that's all I got from TJ Maxx. The next place I stopped by was Big Lot, and they had some more basic gray stuff there that they didn't have um, a couple of weeks ago when I went. So I picked up these glazed brads, and they're from the huh. It doesn't say what collection they're from, but they were really cute. See, you can see they got little birds and whatnot on them. So I picked up two of those, and then they have these stamp sets, and this is from the, this is called Flora, and <coughs> got that one, and then this one is called Finery. And so I got that. And I was needing some leaf stamps anyway, so. Um, and this has got several different cons, different styles, so. Pick those up from Big Lot. The next place I went was by Hobby Lobby, and I picked up some of this chipboard, some more of this chipboard. I really got to find a better uh, supply of chipboard. I'm getting tired of <laughs> buying these things, but I had a lady ask me to make a mini album for her like I had made of my niece and so I had to get some more and then they had their 12 by 12 paper on sale for three for a dollar and these are all by my mom's eye and so I didn't have any boy colors and these were the the color things that she had said she wanted their album so I went and picked these up so I got this one and they're not double sided this is called spring greens it's from 29th street market really pretty and then this one is playground stripes this is uh, 29th street market as well and I just got several sheets of the same con this is apron dot <coughs> really pretty <coughs> excuse me I had a cough for the past few days. And then this one is uh, 29th Street Market. And this is called Mama's Curtain. Really pretty. She said she wanted um, sage greens and um, burgundy colors and some blues. And this was as close as I could get. And then they had this. It's the uh, Breaking Free Adventure series. This is called Rockstar. So I got three of those. And then this one is the same series. It's blue texture. And I like how it looks distressed. So I think I got I think I got like five or six sheets of that. And then I really, really like this one. And this is Righteous Dot. That's what it's called. And I got several polka dot ones. And stripes. This stripe is called Four Mile Stripe. I got several of those. Then this one is. Bella Bella collection and this is called dark brown polka dots and I don't even know why I picked that up I guess I liked it when I saw it 
And then these papers were clearance out six for a dollar. And this is uh, for Storytellers MME Academy and Photo Takers. So I don't see a collection. I guess that's the collection. But it's called Brown Grid Dot. And it looks all... I did get this one on purpose because I thought it, even though it's a different collection, it matched those other papers well. So that is what I got from Hobby Lobby. And then the last place I went by was Michael's. And I just picked up these Studio G glitter glues. And these are two colors I didn't have. And they kind of look like the Distress Dickles. Um, what, the Espresso, I think that's called? Anyway, oh, oh I'll get it later. Any I was checking out their paper and I found some basic gray paper. And I love basic gray and I totally, totally did not know that they even carried it. But it was in the bottom um, paper dividers. So I had never seen it before. But these were all on clearance. They were 19 cents, I think. So I got this one and this is from the Sultry collection. It's called Uptown. And I would have got more of this, but they only had one left. And they're not double-sided. They're just um, single sheets. This one is called Swanky. And it's from the same collection. So I think I got four of those. Four or five. It's really pretty. And then this one is called Smart. It's from the same collection. It's just got some see to it. That's cute, I guess. Anyway. Uh, and I got this collection. And it's called Polished. It's from the Soul Tree collection as well. And I got a couple of sheets of that. It's just brown. I like pink and brown. It's a nice combination. <clears throat> it's probably not my favorite, but I like it. Then this is from the Boxer Collection. This is called Low Rise. And it's just got some um, portions that look distressed. And then this is called Oxford. It's got this really pretty, like, flourish on the side. There and there. I liked it. And then this one is called Slim Fit. <laughs> you know, I was reading the names of these papers and I was like, who comes up with the name of these paper collections? Because this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, you call up, you name a paper line after men's briefs. I don't know. This is called Pocket Watch. And then, this paper is by Cloud9 Design. It's called Luster Cinnamon Squirrels. And even though it's a different brand, um, I still thought it matched those other papers pretty well. So I got a sheet of that. And it's front and back. It's just a sky blue color. Okay. And then, this is by Creative Imagination. And I don't. That's front and back. It doesn't have a collection name on it that I see, but I really I like that back. And um, so I just got one sheet of that because that's all they had left. And then this is by My Mind's Eye, and I think this is My Mind's Eye. Yeah, this is the Bohemia collection. And this one's just got little crowns on it. And it's just got this nice pink background. And then, I'll tell you about this paper. I got to the register to check out and I saw this paper laying on the, um, the checkout counter. And I was talking to the lady because she's always the one who checks me out when I go in Michael's and I said oh that must be some new paper y'all are putting out and she said no actually this was supposed to go on clearance um, about six months ago and somebody forgot to mark it down so we we're just going to throw it away and I was like what that's crazy 
and I asked her if I could buy some so she gave it to me at the clearance price um, but it just kind of bothered me that you know it's, it just seems so wasteful I guess because I think there's this organization that where you can box up your extra scrapbook goodies or you know stuff you're not using anymore and send them and they make cards for the soldiers that have been wounded or whatnot and so I was thinking you know they really should look into doing something like that it would benefit the community and I'm sure they could get a tax right off for it but it just made me so sad whenever she told me that but anyway that's neither here nor there I guess I can't do anything about what what they do but um she did let me buy um some of these I just got five of them and they're a nice blue color on the back and um so she let me have them at the clearance price and this is the Bohemia collection as well so um yeah that's my little haul I did really good I um I didn't spend that much money surprisingly I usually spend a little bit more but <clears throat> um I guess we're all just trying to be um, budget conscious in the new year. But um, I wanted to share that. And thanks for stopping by. And have a good day. Bye.